Welcome to the Division 2. I'm doing my review a little bit earlier than I normally would because of the fact that I'm only about a third of a way through the game and I normally try to wait until I finish the game before giving my impressions on it. But here's the thing. I've played it for about a week. I've streamed about maybe 16 to 18 hours of it. And I've completed a third of the game according to the in-game menus. I've explored a pretty decent chunk of this map, which in typical Ubisoft fashion is covered in too many icons, but there's still another half of the map to explore. And there's still a lot of parts of this map that I can't even get to yet because I'm just not high enough level. Like I've gotten to halfway through the level curve over the course of these 16 to 18 hours, which I've streamed live if you want to check any of that out, but it's just huge. Like by this point I'd finished Anthem, and I'd finished a Division 1 the day I got it, so... It's good to have a, a looter shooter that actually has a good amount of combat and content to it. Like at the moment, just going out into the open world to explore and find resources, as opposed to showing off any of the missions for fear of spoilers for what story there is. The story's not super important, but there are some interesting parts to it, and the campaign missions are always set in interesting places. I have a little side mission here to control this territory. The AI is very good at flanking and moving up in your position, so you can't just hide behind the same set of cover and sit here all day. You can put a turret up though. As you can see, these guys are getting a pretty good flank on me. Some of them have more health because they're elite enemies, they've got armor to wear off. Your own armor doesn't regen over time in combat. The only way to get rid of it and get it back is to actually stop and use an armor pack which takes a good five seconds or so to recharge. So you can get caught out quite easily. Where is that guy? I love my little corrosive grenade launcher because it lets me kill people behind cover. So yeah, combat in this game is often over quite quickly because you and enemies are both pretty fragile. Some of the more boss-like characters certainly will take a good few more bullets, but that's the point. They're bosses. And the loot that you get is actually meaningful. Unlike something like, uh, say, Anthem, where you pick up some guns that do exactly the same thing as the other guns you have, there's actually a good variety of weapons in this game including things that do like uh, marksman rifles and assault rifles, shotguns, SMGs, LMGs. You can also modify your weapons out in the field by adding scopes or grips that all have different trade-offs and give you reasonable rewards for wanting to go out into the world and explore and pick things up. Like, loot is actually meaningful in this game. Like, you constantly feel like you're getting better and stronger and able to take on harder and tougher enemies. And because of that, there's a, a simple but positive feedback loop of the game where you're constantly rewarded for exploring or just stepping off the beaten path. And each of the main missions has their own hidden areas to find. There's keys to get to unlock extra chests on optional missions. You know, there's, there's a lot to the game is what I'm getting at here. And I've enjoyed my time with it. And I reckon that if you want to get a game that's like The Division or Destiny or Anthem, then The Division 2 is probably the best of them that's available at the moment. Destiny 2 is still fine, and like if you got it for free with PlayStation Plus last year, that's a, a definite plus. But the Division 2 is just better. Let's take that scope off of that. And we'll stick on a nice ACOG instead. Yeah, much better. 
But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the division. Like, it's great fun. Uh, if you do decide to pick it up and you're looking for a clan to join, it's quite low effort, then uh, Hey Buddy is open. But you will have to play the game quite a bit to actually unlock that. Need a battery. I don't have a battery. Now, just before we get into our firefight, I should call the review here, because otherwise I'll get murdered while I try and pause. So yeah, that's my opinion of Division. I reckon you should buy it now, because it's, ha it's a ton of content, and they're going to be getting more over the course of the year. Ubisoft have been doing a really good job of adding to their games as a service, so I'm confident Division will have lots to play. Thanks for watching.